any limits on free speech uh, have to be such as the International Convention on Civil and Political Rights says. Uh, they have to be uh, limits only when there is a threat of violence or of discrimination against a person or a community. Um, that's quite a high bar and I hope that bar is respected otherwise um, we could be arriving at uh, an authoritarian and even a totalitarian state by the back door. And then uh, Mrs. May has said something about um, acceptance of other religions. Well, what does acceptance mean? Are we talking about their right to exist? And of course, um, nobody would dispute that. Uh, but if acceptance means believing what they teach, well, that is impossible. Uh, not only for Christians but for many other people of integrity because you can't um, believe contradictory things. So we need a lot of clarification uh, on this. The other point to make is um, that um, what she and the Prime Minister are proposing may be um, targeted at radical Islamist extremists. Uh, but in fact, they may not be the ones who are caught in this way. It may well be used against Christians and others uh, where their opinions are not liked by this lobby group or that. Well, yes, I mean, we've had a recent example of this with the Trojan uh, horse um, situation in Birmingham where the Department of Education's inquiry uh, about what is taught in schools uh, came about because of this exposure of the attempt to infiltrate and to take over certain schools in Birmingham by Islamist extremists. But in fact, uh, the results of the inquiry um, appeared to be uh, targeting not that situation, uh, but certain kinds of Christian schools. And now, you may disagree with what they were teaching, but they certainly are not a threat um, to the social fabric of the nation. So it is quite possible that what is imagined will be tackling Islamist radicalism will end up targeting Christians with their views, for example, on the sacredness of the human person from the very beginning to the very end of life, or their views about marriage and the family, uh, or their views about justice in the community. I mean, there are so many things that could be targeted like that. I hope that Christians will participate vigorously in the debate, that they will make an input into what is being proposed, criticize what is wrong, not just for, to protect themselves, but to protect freedom of speech generally in society. Um, and I hope that this time there is no empty consultation with a foregone result as we've had in the past, but a real listening to people's concerns and a desire to amend uh, legislation, for example, if uh, it is wittingly or unwittingly uh, leading to situations that prevent free speech unnecessarily.